Joining me now here on the MMA Report is UFC lightweight Alex Hernandez. Alex, man, I appreciate time, man. Absolutely. Obviously, we're all uh, you know we're all living in a, a different world o- over the last uh, right. month. Like, how is how has this been for you, just personally, just kind of dealing with your day in day out life? But I mean, obviously, uh, also you at that point getting ready for a fight. Yeah, you, you know, I mean, it's it's been a roller coaster ride, like it's been for everyone. I mean, um, I think we've all been a pretty big, you know, cloud of uncertainty, and so. Um, it's hard to bitch too much more than the average bear, but it was definitely crazy, you know, trying to get, um, trying to get this thing underway. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's just the city lockdowns and the, uh, gym restrictions, food restrictions, everything that we had. It was, uh, it was wild, um, you know, get everything going, but you know, thanks to Dana, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So we definitely, we definitely got stronger this camp. In terms of the gym restrictions for you, how, how did it alter, um, your, your daily preparations? Um, you know, t- towards, I, I guess around the time of it was kind of convenient because at, the, at that point we were getting real strategic with our sessions anyways, to where they weren't, um, you know, they weren't kind of just open days. It was very specific with what we were doing. Um, I already kind of started tailoring my days to afternoons and evenings. So, uh, I would just sort of sleep in, um, wake up, go through a kind of like meditation breathwork morning ritual um you know get my coffee or tea or whatever and then just head straight into the gym and i would just spend uh pretty much the whole day in there uh just hiding out you know just go in there do um you know sessions from you know, two to ten o'clock with some some food breaks in between um just kind of eating and going uh but um but we, we just sort of, yeah, locked it down all the same. Truthfully, ha- having the convenience of, of my own gym, you know, um, uh, being a co-owner, co-owner, we were able to just sort of board up the board up the doors and we put butcher's tape all over the windows. So, you know, it looked like this dilapidated you know, meth lab or something. <laughs> but <laughs> but we got uh, we got the work done. We just had to lock the door after every person came in and out and uh, just keep it, you know, real closed looking for the public. Uh, obviously, it was supposed to be Islam Makhchev. Then it goes to Omar Morales. Um, is your hope that, that hopefully the Mac chef fight gets rebooked and that's, that is your next fight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think, uh, that would have been a fun opponent, a good opponent, kind of like, um, I just want to say like, um, an audition for the belt, you know, um, not that those guys are really that similar, but it would definitely would have caught the eyes of his papa, which, which would have been, would have been nice. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't care. Um, now, now we're in such like uncertain times that I think that, um, you know, more than likely it's going to be someone on American soil that I fight next. And so I, I'm fine with that. Wh- whoever it is. I, I just, I just want to, I, I want to keep growing the career, you know, um, I want to, I want to keep getting accumulating UFC victories and, uh, and keep moving upward and, and just propelling myself and, and getting bigger contracts. So truthfully, if, it, if it's Morales or, or whoever, uh, I'm good with that, you know, with where we're at. I, I just need to be moving forward. I need to be getting the action. I need to be, I need to be, you know, mo- pu- pushing the envelope of my career. So uh, I just don't want to be sitting stagnant for too long. I'm curious to see how this May 9th card looks. Um, I kind of opted to pass on it because I'm not trying to be strung out by camp time, and I'm, I don't believe it's going to happen. So uh, I, I want to see, I want to see uh, the organization get back in action. I want to jump in as quickly as possible against who, who, whoever. I mean, is it, I mean, obviously uh, there's so many factors on whether the event happens or not. Um, yeah. Is it, is it, is it more just kind of like, you know, I, I put my body through so much over the last, you know, four yeah. or five weeks that I just, I, I don't want to continue to put my body through that just in case it doesn't happen. Yeah. It's been like four or five months. You know, I, I got the surgery in the last year and then uh, I did that middle East trip for the troops. Um, and that's when I first started, um, uh, really using my arm again and I got back and when I got back from that trip it was in November because it was during Thanksgiving and I just started I, I just hit the ground running I've just been training um, preparing for a fight and pushing my arm to the limit ever since then and kind of um, seeing how you know 
tr- tr- try, trying to engulf the full workload as much as I could. And, and I did, you know, and it wasn't until towards the end of this camp where my right arm started giving out on me again, which is fine. You know, it's going to be good for the fight. It's just carrying the workload of, of, of a camp, you know. And so, yeah, my, my right arm needs a recovery break because, of course, we geared up everything. We, we were one week away from the fight. You know, I, I was literally wrapping up my last hardest session I was going to do. I got I just finished it. And then I got the news. So, uh, you know, it was extremely disheartening. But but the toll it takes on your on your on your body and mind, um, I, I just need I, need I need a little time to kind of regroup my arms. Um, my right shoulder that had the surgery needs to kind of reset so it can take on another workload. Uh, and then my left shoulder, which will eventually need re- uh, surgery, uh, just needs to reset also. And then just getting uh, my mind out of the gym. You know, I've, I've been in this dungeon for for months it feels like you know people are talking about quarantine you know, i've been in quarantine for three three months at least you know just going from the the gym and home and uh not really seeing anyone but the the bare essentials and um and so i i just don't want to be dragged along and strung out so to speak you know by the time a fight comes where your body's worn your mind's worn you've, you've lost the you've lost a lust enthusiasm you know the valor for kind of battle and so i i um i'm, I'm taking this week I've uh, been having some good work outdoors just to kind of reset my mind, my body. Uh, like I said, let my shoulders get a little break, let my knees, just let the things that, you know, take a lot of abuse in camp uh, get a breather and certainly not act like an asshole. That's another thing, too. I can't really I can't really have too much fun right now. So so just, just um, you know, really take like an actual meditative five days uh, where you're just doing good work outside, get get back, and then uh, and then hit the ground running because – this camp, I feel like I got probably the best shape I've ever been in for a fight, and I, and I, I don't want that to go to waste. You know, when there was so much uncertainty about um, you know the April 18th event, was there ever a thought in your mind of maybe I should just get the surgery on the left shoulder done now? Yeah, you, you know, um, the options are slim. You know, you can't, you can't really get in and get you get um, get get uh, get work done like that. Um, I guess it's uh, if it's not. Of dire necessity, um, you know. Good luck trying to get a surgeon right now. Good luck trying to get you know operations done. And so I, I was thinking about that, but I also I also just don't want to lose ground. I've I've, I've, I've put so much uh, ground under my feet in recovering from this right arm. I don't want to just go right into another one. Uh, I really want to get a few more victories out of out of the left one before I have to get surgery. I really wanted to make up some ground this year um, for not getting all the action I wanted last year. And it's already, you know, it's already um, how it's, you know, it's almost May. We're halfway through April. So um, I certainly don't want to, I don't want to sit out the whole damn year. And, I, I, and I, I, I can get good work. I just need, I just need periods like this where it's like, okay, dude, you, you push the shit out of it for, for months, uh, getting ready for this fight. Um, but I, just, I, I need to kind of let it reset, let it, um, you know, swell a little bit and uh and then just get back get back to the gridstone because um you know fucking clock's still ticking on me so i i, I gotta make moves i gotta make moves maybe next year we'll get the surgery or something i mean as you think about what you want the rest of this year to be like do you have a timetable when you would hope your next fight would be absolutely you know uh assuming that this may card is is a is a success uh may 9th then i would want to um i don't want to scrap in may by end of may um if not, you know, get the fight in May, June, um, have a, hopefully a quick success and roll into another one by like August, September, and then maybe squeeze in that last one in December. Uh, I would want just like a really aggressive second half of the year. So, so, so right now, like I said, it's, it's really important for me to stay healthy. I've, I've been training hard for a long time, so it's just really making sure I don't break anything in my body. And I just, I just keep, keep it keep appreciating and taking advantage of this health that I've got right now. You know, I I think everyone has with, you know, COVID-19 of of how this has affected everyone's life, that maybe there's something that we we did in our daily, weekly life that maybe we took for granted. Is there anything that you maybe realized because of this? Hey, maybe I took that for granted. Yeah. You know, um, certainly thinking about, I, I mean, more. I don't know. I mean, uh, honestly, I think. Uh, I, th- I think my life really hasn't changed too much. I mean, really, I was going to use this whole thing as my advantage, aside from like my my coach, um, my head my head coach got sick and he fell out for a couple weeks. That was kind of fucking crazy. Um, I got sick. I don't know if it was COVID or not. I was out for part of 
about a week where I was just struggling to train. Uh, I was doing it. Um, you know, I, I was kind of using this whole thing to my advantage because San Antonio, we always feel like we're out here on an island anyways. We're not like one of those uh, mega gyms or like hubs for fighting, you know, like California or New York might be. And so being out here, you know, I'm used to being isolated and, and, and working with what I got. So and doing really well with that. So I, I was I, I was making the most of it and just, um, you know, you know, weathering the storm. I think I think a mentality that I embrace that's kind of good for everyone uh, through this camp. I, I kind of just got back to not giving a fuck. You know, there's so many outstanding circumstances, so many things out of our control, so many things that, um, yeah, we can't orchestrate, you know, and, uh, and, and shit's just, um, out of our hands. And I just kind of had this mentality, like, I, I just don't give a fuck. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work through it. I'm just gonna work through anything. You know, I, I can work through anything. And this is just going to be another, another notch in the belt, another story, you know, another tale in the book. Um, but, but I, I'm, I'm training and preparing to fight like a man who's got nothing to lose. She's got nothing to lose. And I, I just don't give a fuck whatever any, anyone or anything throws at me. You know, I'm, I'm going to weather the storm and keep going. And so that, that's been kind of my mentality. And I, I feel like I'm, I'm better for it. You know, I feel like I'm stronger for it. There's definitely times where I was pissed off at Dana and frustrated with the situation. Uh, you know, I had people next to me falling out and uh, my coaches and, you know, and grocery stores were mayhem, you know, and just everything seemed so apocalyptic. And I was, I was frustrated that we were having to do what we had to do. But looking back on it, you know, uh, I, I, I feel better for it, you know, so uh, it's been a good growing experience for me. And I think everybody should just try, you know, now, now we've, now we're deep enough to where everyone should have their bearings. So now, you know, let's just, let's just use this as a marker of growth. And, you know, remember that, you know, it doesn't kill us. It'll make us stronger. And COVID also like, you know, at this point in time, uh, you can get anything from, you know, the shits to ICU. Yeah. I, I have the same odds if you put me on the bike of a motor uh, back of a motorcycle, you know, uh, you, fucking shit myself or i might end up in the icu you, you know if you, if you go fast enough so so I, I, it sounds like a pretty big margin on life I feel like anything in life you could have those odds you know so um I, I just i just think everybody should um look inward for help before they continue to push everyone away outward and point fingers and things just keep looking inward and take care of themselves because truthfully i feel invincible and i'm not worried about this shit at all i feel like i've already i've already given COVID's already contracted me. You know, I'm not really worried about COVID or I'm not really worried about contracting COVID at this point. And so, um, I just think, I just think we just keep our relationship strong and keep looking inward, keep doing the damn thing, man. I don't know. Did that mindset that when you, you talk about changing that mindset, did, did that start right after the Francisco fight? Because obviously, I mean, I remember we talked right after that fight was over, uh, you know, and you, yeah. you, you talked about, you know, kind of like the, the noise I was out, you know, of people saying stuff about you and you're just like, look, I'm not going to worry about that. Is that kind of when the mindset started or maybe it wasn't even before that? Yeah. yeah, I think, no, I think it happened after that fight. Just kind of getting back to myself, kind of getting back to the way I felt like against Ariush, you know, uh, against all those LFA fights. Um, that, that switch that turn where it was just like, man, I could just go back to work on Monday if I need to, if this shit doesn't work out, you know, that's <laughs> kind of like the mindset I had. Like I just find like I had nothing to lose. You know, I, I just, I just don't give a fuck. And I'm like that, that's, that's true invincibility right there. Like that's, that's immortality in the sport. And that's, that's like, that's what's truly scary to see, you know, a guy who, who just has nothing to lose and is fine. Like he just doesn't give a fuck. And I was like, and I, I, I just entered that, uh, that mindset and kind of over overtook that persona and I it just it just it just soaked into me and I and then I couldn't shake it and it was incredible and it was I wasn't worried about um, flying to Abu Dhabi I wasn't worried about opponent changes um, I wasn't worried about anything you know we were ready to go and my team was ready to go and so it was awesome you know it was awesome I just knew that whoever was going to stand across from me was going to fight the best version of me and and that's all I could that's all I could ask for you know and if they could beat that then fuck more power to him you know more power to him so that that's kind of like those were those were the shoes i filled alex man we we look forward to seeing you back inside competition as always man i, I really appreciate the time of course uh, let everyone know anything for you on social media anything else you want to shout out uh, at the great 155 as always and you can get plugged in with the whole crew off that so yeah thanks as always man